A reading from Father Seraphim Rose, His Life and Works. A few days ago, after the lectures of the 1982 pilgrimage had ended, it was the eve of the Feast of the Transfiguration. As usual, Father Seraphim was to give the sermon on this night, Beneath the Stars. In his last lecture, he had spoke of our Christian calling here on earth, but now, in what turned out to be his last sermon, he was to remind his listeners of their ultimate destination. It is also interesting that, in his sermon on the Feast of the Transfiguration eight years before, he had spoken of how little time is allotted to us in this life to prepare for our salvation. But now, in the sermon right before his early, unexpected death, he was to speak mostly of the life beyond. One of the sisters of the St. Xenia Skeet recorded, Father Seraphim's last sermon during the vigil for the Transfiguration was very special to all of us who were close to him. During the litia of the vigil for the feast, the monks of the monastery, the nuns of the St. Xenia Skeet, and visitors went outside in procession through the forest bearing candles and singing the verses of the feast the men to the Transfiguration Skeet site on the top of Mount St. Hermon, the women to the St. Elias Skeet. They met singing at the foot of a large cross that overlooks Begum Gorge. The night was clear and starry. Father Seraphim, in white vestments, went to the cross and signaled for everyone to blow out the candles. He stood silent for a while, looking at the dark gorge and star-filled sky, and then began something like this. Beholding the majesty of God's creation, we catch a glimpse, however vague and shadowy, of the beauty of God's eternal kingdom, for which we were all created. We must always remember that our home is in the heavens. We must shake off all the vain and petty passions and worries that keep us tied to the ground, to the fallen earthly world, that keep us from realizing the purpose of our creation. How easily we forget the very reason for our existence. The end times are already here. We see clearly the preparation of the world for the Antichrist. Christians will be faced with an unprecedented trial of their faith and love for God. We will have to hide in the wilderness, in land like we see before us here. Of course, in the end, they will find us even there. The purpose of hiding is not just for the preservation of our earthly life, but to gain time to strengthen our souls for the final trial. And this must begin even now. Let us therefore at least begin to struggle against the fetters of petty passions, and remember that our true home is not here, but in the heavens. Let us strive towards our heavenly homeland, as St. Herman used to say, Ad Astera! Ad Astera! He finished and continued staring into the heavenly blue of the starry grandeur, oblivious of us, who beheld before us a glimpse of the mystery of a man who, having long since prepared his soul, would be going there soon. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, of Hieromonk Seraphim of Platina, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.